Hello everyone. This video is part of assignment of uh, the faculty development program on use of ICT in education for online and blended learning. And this assignment is about creating a video for your own classroom. I'll be taking this topic binary frequency shift key. So digital modulation techniques. In digital modulation technique, the information signal is digital in nature. So the data presented here is in digital in nature. So it is either 1 or 0. So the modulation should switch or key the amplitude, frequency or phase of the carrier in accordance with the incoming data. Thus we have three basic digital modulation techniques. Amplitude shift keying, frequency shift keying and phase shift keying. Binary frequency shift keying. So as the name suggests, the frequency is being shifted according to the incoming signal. So the incoming signal is either a 1 or a 0. It is digital in nature. According to whether this incoming signal is a 1 or a 0, the frequency is being shifted. So the transmitted signal S i of t is given by root of 2 e b by t b cos 2 pi f i t from 0 to t b where t b is a bit duration, e b is energy per bit. So root of 2 e b by t b suggests an amplitude for this wave. So here i can take on values 1 or 2. If the incoming signal symbol is 1, then i takes the value 1. In that case, we have s1 of t. If the incoming symbol is 0, then si of t is s2 of t. i takes the value 2 here. So the transmitted signal is s2 of t. So for s1 of t, you have the frequency f1 being transmitted. For s2 of t, you have the frequency f2 being transmitted. So you can clearly see, depending on the incoming signal 1 or 0, the frequency is being shifted here. These are the waveforms of BFSK. For symbol 1, we have a high frequency FC1. For symbol 0, we have low frequency FC2. There is no rule such that 1 should be of higher frequency, 0 should be of lower frequency. These two frequencies should be distinguishable from each other. As well as these frequencies should be integral multiples of a particular frequency. The block diagram of the transmitter. Here the incoming signal is a binary wave. It is an on-off signaling. So either it is a plus 1 or 0 depending on the incoming signal is a symbol 1 or symbol 0. So the 1 goes to this multiplier which multiplies it with root 2 by tb cos 2 pi f1t and here you get this frequency f1t. The same 1 goes to this inverter it becomes a 0 here because it is an inverter. It gets multiplied with this carrier of frequency f2. So, 0 getting multiplied with this gives the answer 0. So, in effect, if the symbol is 1, then only this multiplier will have output. Your transmitted signal will have only one frequency f1. But if your incoming symbol is 0, then this 0 gets multiplied with this multiplier. The output is 0. So, here you don't have any effect of this f1 frequency. But uh, this 0 comes here goes to the inverter becomes a 1 and the output of this multiplier will be having this frequency f2. So in effect if the incoming symbol is 0 your output is this frequency f2. So if the incoming symbol is 1 you have frequency f1 and if the incoming symbol is 0 you have frequency f2. So uh, these are the basics of a binary frequency shift keying technique. I hope everyone understood this video. Thank you so much for listening to me.